يس عبدول يا الو 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 يا الو وات هابين تو يو اي ونت يو تو اي ونت شو حديث تو يو نو واي دونت ريد ذس حديث فور اس ان ذا سكرين بيكوز ذس توبيك اوف ذا وومن ان نيوزيلاند اي نو اي ام توكينج اباوت ذس حديث نو وي باس ذات واي وات دو يو ثينك اباوت يور بروفيت ساين that the best of muslims the best of mankind are the muslims because they put chains around the neck of people yeah to save you from hellfire okay so if i if i put a chain around your neck to make you christian is that fine for you if your religion is the truth yes ah so because your religion is the only truth you can you are allowed to put a chain around the neck of people yes uh, so you think you can, uh, so you think a human being as are dogs you can leash you can have a leech on them Where you gonna? Huh? I lost you. S- stop stealing the internet of the neighbors. Abdul, are you there? Abdul, he never, he never pay for the internet. They never pay for a credit card. They never pay for internet. Okay, Abdul. So yes. why you are saying it's okay to put? Chains around the neck of a human being. Yes. So why? Why? So what does that mean? Uh, uh, everyone is not a Muslim. He is not a human for you. Okay. Imagine you're in hellfire. You're screaming, uh, "Ya Allah, take me out of hellfire!" And you, and you. No, you we don't. But we are not screaming, "Oh Allah, take us from hellfire." We don't. We are. Uh, do you see? Do you hear us screaming that? No. Well, no. But you're gonna. Why? Why you? Why Islam teaching you that you are? You are the best of mankind, and the rest are animals. So we can put leech around their necks. What kind of religion like this is? Oh, they don't say your animals. It, it says that. No, it says it that just... when you put that, you when you put a chain around the neck of a human being, is that a behavior you do with a human or with animals? That's not the topic. This is the topic. It says here in front of us, for they bring them with the chains around their necks. Not only bring them, bring them with the chains. So. You have yes. to go and, and you have to go and hunt them and capture them as if they are dogs and you put a leech around their neck. This is what it says. Mm. Okay, so why, why you think that you are you are better than mankind and the rest of you, the rest of uh, of mankind are animals and we can put a chain around their neck. This is what Islam teaching. This is the value of Islam, yeah. right? What is it for? What is it for? You tell me what is it for? To go to Jannah. What if I don't want to go to Jannah? I don't want to go to your Jannah. Your Jannah is scary. In the Jannah, okay. you a Muslim, they will have sex, men with men. I don't like that. Okay. Do you But, like uh, to have sex with men yourself? A... Do you like to have? Do, do you like somebody to do you in the heaven? Okay, but listen, I want you to. No, no I don't want to listen. I want you to answer. Do you like to go to heaven where somebody will do you? Because the Quran no. says, whatever you wish, any anything you wish in heaven, it will happen yeah. to you. What about uh, having yeah, sex with uh, your mother? I'm... Do you like to go? To, getting... Do you like to go to heaven where you can have sex with your mother? No, I don't like have sex with my, with so my mother. So why you want to go to that heaven? Why you are so desperate to go and kill people so, so you can go to such a heaven? No, because I'm going to have sex with the, my virgins. What virgins? Who are they, those virgins? <laughs> Who are they, those virgins? I'm asking you. Who are they, those virgins? <laughs> <laughs> are you laughing at your God? Huh? <laughs> Please uh, read the hadith for me. I'm asking you. you. I'm asking you. What? Who are those virgins? The my wives. Allah will create your wife. Allah create yeah. wives for you, but you never met them yet. How they can be your wives? You don't know them. You never know them. You never met them. How they can be your wife? I, I want you to listen to this conversation and you tell me what do you think. I'm not trying to listen carefully. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yeah. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can have, you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. <laughs> Anything. Anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome. You and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay. And you don't see that there's something wrong with that. 
What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I'm, sin I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, I'm not. So, what do you think, Abdul? Your Muslims, all of them believe that in the heaven you will have sex with your mother and your father in the same bed, have oh. fun. So, what oh. do you think? Why, why you want people to go to such a heaven where it is obviously an evil and disgusting heaven? Because you are nobody's gonna have sex with his mother. No, that you know, I have tons of Muslims debating me and agree that this is what it says. Stop does, lying. Does it say in hadith? The Quran says whatever you wish. Whatever you wish. Yeah, whatever you wish. Nobody's gonna wish to have sex with his mother. Why? Why not? Why not? Because that's, nobody's gonna have uh, okay, let me ask wish you, for that. Let me ask you, are you allowed to have sex with your daughter in Islam? I don't know. Don't tell me I do not know. You are a Muslim, Abdul. You are Abdul. Abdul knows everything. They knew science. They knew everything. Have you ever seen? Yeah, Abdul? Have you ever, have I, you ever heard of Abdul? Do not know since when? Come on, All, you Abdul know everything. I've watched some of uh, some of your videos, and you say ISIS is Islam. Why you are changing the topic? No, ISIS are not Islam. ISIS are nice people compared to Muhammad. No. What do you mean no? Re read okay. the hadith. I, okay. I've no, okay. Name for me one thing Muhammad did. ISIS did not do. Killing Muslims. Let me ask you, did Muhammad put nails in the eyes of people? They, they, uh, ISIS is killing Muslims. No, no, the Quran says uh, whoever kills the Muslims will, 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 is not a Muslim. Will, uh, so the ah, so Muhammad he says you can kill only non-Muslims. This is not a topic. This, you you said, who said that? You said Mus uh, ISIS are killing Muslims. So the Muhammad he said you can kill only Muslims according to you. What? What? You see, when a Muslim he don't he don't he want to run away from the answer. He says, "What? I'm asking you, Muhammad, did he kill Muslims too, what? or he killed only non-Muslims?" Yeah, or most of them he killed uh, Muslims, but some of them he like uh, stoning to that. But that's a punishment Muhammad, in Sharia. Muhammad, most of the people he killed are Muslims, Muhammad. No, oh, non-Muslims. Uh, why he killed the non-Muslims? Maybe uh, stoning to death for uh, Sharia law for committing this is not a uh, okay, why, adultery. Why Muhammad did not stone himself? He committed adultery too. Yeah, he's the prophet of God. He's a messenger. So if he's a prophet, he can commit adultery? No problem in Islam? If he's a, if he's a messenger. Oh, I understand. So if you are a messenger in Islam, you can commit adultery. It's okay. No. So why he did not stone himself? Because he's a messenger. I got that. But he committed adultery. Why he didn't stone himself? He, he needs to complete Allah's message. Ah, so after he complete, he will stone himself. Okay, I got it. Let me ask you: Your prophet, he kiss a stone. Is that because he is a messenger or because he is a, a Muslim? Can we get to my topic, please? Yes, yes, we are going there. I'm just trying to understand your logic. You keep saying to me because he's a messenger, because he's a messenger. So I'm trying to understand. So when your prophet he kiss a black stone, did he kiss it because he is a messenger or because he's a pagan? To uh. Because, because it's holy the black stone is holy and why it's holy because it uh, washes your sins and how the stone wash your sin are you a pagan person how how muslim they say to us we are not pagans yet a stone forgive your sin no it doesn't forget it, it forgives by the will of allah so the stone have the will of allah what the stone has the will of allah my friend, your logic is so stupid. Okay, I, I am trying to learn from you, my smart friend. You just said because it has the will of Allah, the stone has the will of Allah to forgive your sin. Oh, by the will of Allah. Uh, okay, the who is stone. the one? Who is the one who erased your sin, Allah or the stone? Allah. But the hadith says it's the stone. Yeah, by the will of Allah. Explain to us how the stone is the one who erased your sin, and then yet you say it's by the will of Allah. Explain, please. <laughs> well, you are laughing at your prophet now. <laughs> what happened? Please just read the hadith, please. Okay, we'll read the hadith. Here we go. This is the hadith in front of us. Let me find it. And it may take me a second to find it. All right. You want the hadith? Here we go. Okay, here yeah. we go. Muhammad, he says, whoever touched those two corners. No, no, no. Uh, the hadith I've sent you. Read this hadith first, and let's see how Allah Prophet He is saying stones they erase your sins. It doesn't say that Allah erases the sin. It says the stones. If you touch the stones, they erase your sin. 
Please read my hadith. I beg you, please. Uh, I, I, okay, I will read the hadith for you. No problem. But answer this. No, no, how, no. My, my hadith. Uh, yeah, no problem. How, how if we touch the stones, it's going to erase our sin? Allah says, uh, whoever touches it, hmm. like, uh, by my will, I will forgive your sins. Where it says that's that? The, Where it says it, that? Doesn't say. Oh, that. but that's the meaning. That's the meaning. No, no, no. It's not up to you to say this is the meaning. It says he said. I heard Allah Messenger saying, "Touching them erases sin." Yeah. Okay. Touching them erases sin. That's it. You touch them, your sin automatically is erased. Yeah, you have to kiss them. Oh, you cannot only touch them. You have to kiss them too. Yeah. Okay. So now, why if we? So, so you? No, no, no. Touch, touch. Ah, you touch. Okay. So which one is correct? So why your prophet kiss it then? If touching them is enough, why you prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. You are kissing a stone because the stone is holy? No, because it's from Jannah. But you just said to me a second ago because it's holy. You forgot? Yeah, because it's in Jannah. Okay, so if a stone is coming from Jannah, from heaven, that means it's holy. Of course. What if Allah he sends you a donkey from Jannah? You kiss him too? <laughs> what if he send you, what if he send you a cake of shit from her from Jannah? You kiss it? <laughs> is it holy? I'm asking you, you know, we are having a conversation. How how and why Allah he send you a stone from Jannah? What is the point of that stone? I don't know. He knows best. Okay, and uh, the stone erases your sin. So why we need Allah? I made tons of videos against Muhammad and thousands and thousands of Muslims of Islam because of me. Now, all what I need to do, I go and touch the stones, and that's all Christian Prince he did is gone. What do you think? Yeah, Allah is merciful. Wow, that's nice. Okay, yeah. so I can rape it's children, like, I can like, rape women, I can kill, I can steal, and I do drugs, I sell drugs, and then I what I do, I go and touch the stones. No, you repent. Where it says repent, it says here whoever touched them doesn't say if you repent. Yeah, if you're Muslim. What? No, it doesn't. Yeah, say, it doesn't say even um, you have to be a Muslim. It says whoever touched them. Referring to Muslims, don't be like this stupid. It's referring to Muslims. Don't be a stupid. I thought to be a Muslim to, is to be a stupid. It's a must. <laughs> yeah, I can prove it to you. How somebody he, he claimed to be smart and yet he believed that a stone is holy. Please just read my hadith, please. I'm asking you how somebody claimed to be smart, yet he believed that a stone is holy. You are a smart person, not a stupid, right? Okay. How stone is holy? What holy mean? What holy mean? Yeah. You just said to me the stone is holy. What holy mean? How the stone is holy? I don't what know. Mean? I don't you know how to describe so it. You, so you are saying to me holy, but you do not know what holy mean? Yeah, I know. I know, I know what it means. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Tell me. I'm, le I'm learning. I don't know how to describe it. Oh no, well, how come you are smart? A smart uh, Muslim. Have you ever seen a Muslim not smart? It's impossible. So how a smart Muslim can I describe it? What do you mean by the stone is holy? What does that mean? Uh, it's from Jeddah, right? That's yeah, it. We get that, we get that. Are you going to go zero to zero? You remind me, I went to a Muslim chat uh, uh, website and I asked them, it's called convert to Islam. I asked them, why the prophet is the stone? They said to me, it's holy. Because it's holy, and I said, "Why it's holy?" They said, "Because he kissed it." So don't be stupid no. again, like them. No. Because it's from Jannah. Okay, because it's Jannah. But what holy mean? The stone is holy because it's from Jannah. What does that mean? What what is what is holy mean? The stone is holy. What does that mean? Uh, it's uh. Wait, let me just search it real. The quick. stone does not do shit. The stone did not uh, steal. The stone does not lie. What does that mean? Yeah, here's the meaning of it dedicated or what consecrated. No, how, how, really how the stone, really how the stone is it. holy. Holy means that somebody never commits sin, it's totally holy. Yeah, I'm, okay. The stone, I'm reading of it. since when stones uh, commit sin, have you ever seen a stone commit sin? No, what do you mean? No, I thought you are a Muslim. What do you mean? I thought, Don't according commit. to Islam, stones they steal. No. Oh, what do you mean? I no. a hadith which says the Musa will uh, stone will steal Musa's clothes. Yes, the Musa he was uh, <laughs> Musa was washing, he uh, taking a shower, and Allah He sent a, a thief stone 
and she stole his panty and his wallet and his cell phone and then Musa says he have to chase the stone and uh, because Allah wanted to prove that Musa he have nice testicles am I lying the height in the front of us read it yeah okay so how you say the stone is holy stones are thieves no my friend this is different stone Ah, different stone this is a different family they are not the same stones why are you so stupid? <laughs> uh, but, but this is stone sent by Allah. It's it's it is doing the work of Allah. Allah, have you ever heard of a stone can run? Only in Islam those things happen. How how the stone she stole the clothes? Can you explain to us? Can you okay? If you read my hadith, then maybe I will leave Islam. No, no, my friend. How a stone can steal a clothes? Can you explain to us? You are the smart, we are not. You know, we are not we are disbelievers. Muslims are the smart people. How the stone she was able to run explain to us how this happened Musa he took off his clothes as you see that the Jews they said that the Israeli they said that he was afraid to expose his private part because he had suffering from a, uh, a disease and he one day took a bath in a water and placed his garment upon the stone the stone began to move on quickly he followed it and he struck it and with the help of a stone saying stone my garment oh stone my garment the stone keep doing that until the stone stopped near a big gathering of the jews Netanyahu was there i mean all of them and there the and the, this verse revealed uh, about this issue okay now, is that a miracle or this is a phony tale story? Is that a true story? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I believe. You believe in the story. Okay. Who told the stone to steal the clothes of Moses? Who told the stone? Who told uh, the stone to do that? Did the stone do that because... Uh, she is working no. with the like, KGB, or who is the one who made the stone run and steal the clothes of Moses? The stone itself. The stone itself. She did that by herself. Yeah. So you must then believe that stones are living creatures, and they can run, and they can steal, and they will take your phone and your clothes. No, not now, not now. Oh, not now. Only in the old days they used to that. Today they change. Ah. Uh. What? I'm just uh, trying to learn from you. What? Wh how? Who is the one who made this stone do that? Who is? Who is the one who is behind this story? He made the stone steal the clothes and the panties and the underwear of Moses and his cell phone and his wallet, and she ran with it. And all of this because Allah wanted the the, the Jews to see his private part, so no. they will see no. that his uh, his balls are good and his penis is big. Look, look, it says here. No. Okay. My clothes, my clothes, he keep running after it. And then Benu Israel, the children of Israel, had a chance to see his private part of Musa's. Like so the Jews, when they saw the, the penis of Musa's, they said, like, wow, look at this. So Allah he made the stone steal his clothes so everybody can see his penis. No. What do you mean no? Who is the one who made the stone run? It's uh, Allah. Allah, thank you very much. So Allah is the real thief, is not the stone. No. What, what do you mean? The stone is doing Allah work. Is Allah is a stone? No. Is Allah but, is but, but, okay? Did there's I, did one, I, there's I, one stupid okay, logic of me, you. I don't okay, understand. Well, I don't know. You are saying stupid logic. Maybe I am not smart like you. Was Allah inside the stone when the stone is stole the clothes? No. Okay, how the stone then can run? It's by the will of Allah. Not will, but by his like power. By the power of Allah. So the power of Allah is inside the stone now. Oh my god. <laughs> Your logic. <laughs> what? I'm just uh, going with you. Guys, isn't him who said that by the power of Allah? So now, when we say, okay, well, I say by the gas of Allah, that's mean the gas of Allah is inside the stone. When you say the power by the power of Allah, so the power of Allah is inside the stone. Okay, okay. you win. So okay, you win. The power, of Allah, okay, the power of Allah is it holy? 
No. The power of Allah is not holy? Allah has no. a Allah has a dirty power? Yes. Can you now read my hadith? Allah has a dirty power. Yes, can you now read my hadith? Well, so why you worship a dirty power God? Can you can you now read my hadith, please? Yeah, but why why you worship a dirty power God? Why are you taking so long? Just read my hadith. What hadith? This is a hadith. You know, this is a this oh, is more yeah, important. The, the, okay, the, the hadith is, is your you. hadith about stone running? Okay, just read it. No, is your hadith have anything to do with the scene in their wares? Yes. Really? Okay, read the hadith for me. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you read it, please. No, I do not. You know, for me, I cannot read more hadith about uh, underwear. That's it. I, I passed my limit for today. Okay, I'll read it. Okay, read it. Huh? It is Sahih. Hmm. Uh, if you see the black flags, then remain on the, on the ground and do not move a hand or a leg. A group of weaklings will then appear. Their hearts will be like iron. They are the owners of the state. They fulfill neither a contract nor a nor a co uh, covenant. They call to the truth, but they are not its people. Mm. Their names are Acuna, and their lineage are town. Their hair is unwinding like the hair of a woman. Mm. Isn't this ISIS? Those are ISIS. Yes. Mm. But isn't it isn't it your prophet? He his name is Acuna. No. What do you mean? Isn't it Omar ibn Khattab is a Kunya? Isn't it Abu oh. Bakr a Kunya? Abu Bakr, what is Abu Bakr? Yes, but uh, now it's uh, in this time. What? It says they will be a. Uh, what is it? <laughs> okay. What? Isn't, it, isn't it your prophet? He said that those people they will come from Khorasan? What is that? I don't know. Khorasan is, in, is going to be supposed to be in the old Persian Empire. So why your prophet is a false prophet? If the ISIS are from Khorasan, that will make them uh, will, will make them uh, as Muhammad he said. But Muhammad he made it clear that they are coming from Khorasan. Those are not from Khorasan. Al Baghdadi, yes. Al Baghdadi is supposed to be from Mecca. No, it's from Iraq. His uh, his last name is Al Qurashi, Qurashi, which means he's from Mecca. No. It my okay. friend, the, okay, let's go the, with Iraq. Let's go with Iraq. Is Iraq is Khorasan? What is Khorasan? Khorasan is you can search for it right now in Google. What does Muhammad say in a hadith? He said that they will come from Khorasan, and not only that, your prophet he says that their leader is a black man. Is Al Baghdadi no. is a black man? Okay, show me. Are you sure? Yeah, show me where it says that. Okay. You will not change your mind? No. You cannot no negotiate about that. <laughs> well, you are laughing. You are laughing at your prophet. I notice always when you call me, you laugh when you hear things about your prophet. I don't know, you don't show respect. I'm really I'm really uh, so disappointed of you as a Muslim. Here we go. Your <laughs> prophet he said Al Khawarij, their leader. Is a black man. Here we go. You see the word Al Khawarij? Mm, let me see the screen. Mm, see the screen. Mm. Should, should I send you the hadith in the top of a of a of a rock, the rock of Pusas? Can you, can you uh, show the hadith from a little above so I can read the whole hadith? No problem. Here we go. This is not talking about the same people. He's talking about Al Khawarij, about Al Khawarij, supposedly, as you see. This is the same statement you read for me. And their leader is a black man. Is Al Baghdadi is a black man? No, the 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 uh, Khawarij is not what is in Hadith. Yes, Al Khawarij is in the Hadith. No, this is what you called for me. Yes, your prophet talking about people. Do you know what Khawarij, which means people they out they are out of religion. They are out of what the teaching of Allah supposedly. So how ISIS are those people? And where ISIS they broke the command of Allah. They killed the same as Muhammad. They raped the same as Muhammad. 
they still the same as Muhammad oh. and they were even nicer no. than Muhammad. Okay, okay. Was Muhammad a rapist? No, no. Let me. Yes, he was a rapist. Okay, well, just, just, just wait a second, please. Hmm. I'm gonna quote, uh, uh, quote something from your, from your Bible. What, uh, what uh, Moses did. Hmm. Let's see if, he, if um, Moses is, uh, is why, not a rapist. Why are you are changing the topic? So was Muhammad a rapist? Yes or no? Because you're a hypocrite. Well, uh, let's see who's a hypocrite. I'm asking you. Was your prophet a rapist? Yes or no? Was your prophet Moses a rapist? If he was a rapist, then we call him a rapist. No problem. If he was, okay. I'm asking you, was okay. your prophet a rapist? Yes or no? If Moses is a rapist, I'm Muhammad is. If he's not a rapist, you Muhammad have, is no, not. You have to prove it. And if he's a rapist, I will call him a rapist. No problem. First, I will show you what uh, Moses commanded. I'm Look. asking you, was your prophet a rapist? No. So who is Sophia who he raped her in the same day? Who is Julia? Okay, 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 Julia okay Muhammad is a rapist. Let's see, Numbers 31, uh, verse 7 to 18. Okay, they attack Midian. What? Okay, read for me what it says. Okay. They attacked Midian just as the Lord has command, had commanded Moses, and they killed all the men, all five of the Midian three kings, hmm. Eve, Rikim, Zor, Ho, and Reba, hmm. right in a battle. They also killed Balaam, <laughs> son of Baal, with the sword. And the Israelites, the army captured the Midianite women and children. Mm. Wow, captured. Uh, Is, isn't this what you uh, Christians no, call? Where it says where it says they raped them. You said they raped them. I'm gonna show you. And seize the cattle and flocks them all. The wealth was plundered. They burned all the towns and the villages where the uh, Midians had lived. After they had uh, gathered the plunder and captives, both people and animals they brought them all to Moses and Elazar the you, priest and go to the whole city of Israel, says? which has what, uh, which you, was camped on the plain. Why you don't go and tell me the verse it says they raped the women? Okay, okay. let me just uh, hmm. go there. Yeah. Okay, Moses, Elazar the priest, had all the leaders of the people went to them hmm. outside the camp, but Moses was furious with all the military commanders. Are you going to read the whole chapter where the verse yes. says yeah. they raped them? Okay. I'm going to show you right now. Okay. Who had returned from the battle? <laughs> Moses said, "Why have you let all these women live?" Hmm. He demanded. These are very ones who followed Balaam's advice hmm. and caused the people of Israel uh, to, to rebel against the Lord. Hmm. They are the ones who cursed the plague to. Strike the Lord's people now, kill all the boys and the women who have slept with their men. Mm. Only the young girls who are virgins may live. You may keep them for yourselves. Mm. Right to do what with them? Hypocrite. No, you're 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 no, hypocrite. No, you see, they are the hypocrite. The Bible says like, that no, even though like, all even more. those or even gonna, those prisoners, gonna, oh. even those prisoners, they don't sleep with them, they marry them. And we can show you tons of verses from the same book you are reading from. You are the hypocrite, you are the dummy. And yeah. nowhere it says, yeah. and nowhere it says they, they did yeah, rape them. It. Did you show me the way it says re rape, they did rape them? Okay, okay. The, uh, this is from the Did you see? Did you when, see where it says they even step with them? It says the the young uh, girls did, who are did, virgins. Does it say, if you make does it say anywhere? No, it's adult. Does it say anywhere that they slept with them? It says, uh, the, 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 you make says them I am asking you, does it say anywhere that they even slept with them? You could not okay, find so rape. You, you could not find rape. You could not find rape, right? So now okay. I'm asking you, let us so see. Word, Maybe we can hey, find something so else. Word. Maybe nah. we can find something else. Does it say anywhere that they even slept with them? My friend, your logic is stupid. So, it, stop it stop really says, says, you are the one trying to prove to me that they raped them. So you have to show me where it says that. So you fail again. They keep them okay. as slaves. They keep them as slaves because they they themselves, the Jews, they've been slaves too, eye for an eye. So they keep them as a slave, but there's nowhere it says <laughs> that they did rape them. And the and the Old Testament says that if you have a slave, in order to know her, you have to marry her. Okay. Otherwise, Let me uh, read no, this. Uh, no, no, don't. Uh, no, let us go back. So you see, I gave you a chance to read the whole chapter for me, and you feel. Now I'm asking you. Why you admitted that your prophet was a rapist, and you are the one who says to me that if oh, somebody commits, yes, you admitted that your okay, let, prophet let me, Moses let was a ask, rapist. Let me ask you: Is is Islam from the same God of of Moses? From the God, the God of the Quran and the God of the Old Testament are very similar. Okay. In the, in the, God the, in the Jews, okay, in the Bible God, it says, hold on. In the Bible it says, if somebody rape a woman, he would be killed. 
because okay, let me. The God of the New I'm Testament and the just, God just, of the just, Old just, Testament just, are not the same God. Just, let me clear this you. They are not the same. In the Bible, it says, if a man he raped a woman, he should be killed. Can you find me a verse in the Quran that says, if a man raped a woman, he will be killed? In the sh Sharia law. What Sharia law? So you, you Muslim, you don't have it in the Quran? It's in the Sharia law. What Sharia law? Many else? I thought your Sharia is coming from the Quran. So where your Sharia is coming from? What does that mean? From what? what do you mean? Where is the punishment? Where Are you saying to me, Allah, he forgot to say to you, Allah, he have time to tell us that there was an ant. She was warning the ants about Suleiman, but he forgot to make a verse about what we will do if a man he rape a woman. Are you saying that to me? You're stupid. You can call me whatever you want. You have to show me what kind of a stupid God. He talk about those silly stuff, but he have no time to tell us what we will do in the case of rape. Yeah, in, in uh, Muhammad said, uh, "Kill the person who rapes." Where? In the Sharia law. In the Sharia law. So, is, okay, are you saying to me that Muhammad he have he is copying the Jews because the Jews they have the the Quran doesn't have that. No, it doesn't matter. It's in the Sharia law. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Because Muhammad he have to follow Allah. Is Muhammad making yeah. his own? Okay, are you saying to me Muhammad he made his own law different from the law of Allah? The law of Allah is the Quran. The law of Muhammad is inspired by Allah. Okay, inspired by Allah, it have to be Quran. Did Allah speak to Muhammad? Yes, in the night journey. Where it says that? Show me. In a hadith. It doesn't say that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what else do you think he did? Secondly, in the night no, journey, in the night journey, there's nowhere in the Quran it says that Allah, he took Muhammad to the heaven. Is that right? Okay. Okay, yes. So why you are fabricating a lie? You Muslims, you lie. You say Muhammad went to the seven heaven, but even the Quran never says that. Because in the, if you were in the time of Muhammad, then you would understand why the, the verse was not revealed. Muhammad told all the people. No, the Quran, so the what? verse was not revealed. So Allah, he forgot. Allah, he have time to tell us about the end, speaking to the end. But oh. he have no time but, to tell us about Muhammad going to heaven. What's some point of uh, Allah... V uh, revealing a verse when Muhammad really told all the people he went to, nobody to the saw him. There's nobody saw him. There's no witnesses, not even his wife. Nobody saw him. Yes, but he split and Muhammad, uh, there was many uh, witnesses. What witnesses? The witnesses. Where, what witnesses? Where they saw him? They saw him went to heaven? No, I'm talking about the moon split. You, you want to change the topic now? It's a, I'm not changing uh, the topic. I'm witnesses. saying to you, okay, where do we kind of verse? Okay, let me ask you. In Islam, if a man, he have six uh, with the women he you have to bring four witnesses and they have to see his penis going inside her vagina is that true what if you see when a muslim he when i play dumb what you you heard me according to your quran <laughs> we have to bring four witnesses to prove yeah. adultery how you can bring four witnesses you come to your house you find the guy sleeping with your wife now you have to what call, is this? you have to call four friends. Hey Ahmad, hey Muhammad, call them, call them. Come over, take your car and come here because we have to see the penis of this guy going inside the vagina of this woman so we can prove adultery. How you can prove that? Why well, you are laughing? Are laughing at your religion, right? Please don't ever say Muhammad was a killer, rapist, because I, that's I, I literally you what are, Moses you are the one. Hold on, we got you busted. I'm asking Did you. He only I'm asking says, you. I'm asking you. What, what, you what like kind, Moses what will, will be sent. What kind of religion says stupid thing like this? How in the world somebody can prove that his wife committed adultery by getting four witnesses? How we can get four witnesses? And Muhammad he said they have to see his penis going in as the pen go inside the ink. The inkwell. How we can prove that? So if the man she is sitting in the top of the guy wearing her skirt, there's no witnesses, there is no adultery. Because nobody saw anything. Okay, but I don't understand why you bring I'm this up. I'm asking you because this is silly. Your, your book is a stupid silly. The Bible have details okay. about a rape, 
about uh, adultery, about everything. There's details here. There's nothing. Yeah, what, like, what is like you say to me? You, you say to me Sharia yeah. law, but there's no Sharia like, law. There's a garbage law. What is a Sharia law? How in the like, high, how in the world? Okay, somebody, somebody here rape a woman. How a woman? She will bring four witnesses to prove that she was raped. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So according to Islam, every woman who is raped, she have to call for her friends, so they can watch the guy raping her, so she can prove that she was raped. Okay. What do you mean? Okay, this is the most stupid religion ever I heard. A rapist, yeah, you're, you're a, rapist, more stupid. A, a rapist. He will not invite people to see that he is ra raping a woman. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah. stupid. So, guys, look at this garbage. A rapist. He have to bring four witnesses to see him raping a woman. Otherwise, the woman she cannot take him to court because if she not have four witnesses, the judge will beat her, not beat him. They will lash her eighty times if she is not going to be stoned. Abdul, take care and say hi to mommy. Okay, bye bye. Can I, can I talk for ten seconds? You don't know what are you talking about. You're an idiot. Just go. Four witnesses we have to bring for a rapist. Have you ever heard of such a stupid religion like this? And now if the woman, she go to the police and she report the guy who raped her, she the, the, the judge will say, okay, do you have four witnesses? She say no. Then the judge will say, oh, the Quran says if those who do that, then we have to lash them 80 lashes because you accuse somebody and you would approve. Is that justice? The Muslim keeps saying Sharia Allah. Sharia, you don't have a Sharia. Sharia, I mean law, actually. You don't have. It's a garbage. Muhammad, his wife, she was accused that she is having sex around. Actually, Muhammad's wife, Aisha, she is very well known. She was the bike of the town. Whoever want to take a ride, he ride her. And then when everybody start talking about her stepping around, and they have witnesses, three witnesses, Muhammad, he made it up to four. So now he can beat those who accuse his wife because simply he cannot punish her because he will lose Abu Bakr if he do so. And if you lose Abu Bakr, Islam collapse. And how in the world if somebody can bring for witnesses for adultery? <laughs> you know, those guys, they must have a web camera and uh, millions of people watching the same time. And by the way, they have, four, they have to be four witnesses who they are men. And men we accept, not any men too. Which means we might have four witnesses, but the judge don't accept them. And they have to be believer. Not only for men, which means if you have one million Christian, they saw a crime, the one million Christian are not accepted. If you have one million women, they saw the crime or the rape, still they are not accepted because in the case of any capital murder or punishment, the witnesses have to be for men and Muslims only, which we accept, not women. In the case of witnessing for borrowing money, only women she can witness. In some scenario, some uh, uh, scholar, they say a woman, she can witness for giving birth because she is inside the room with that woman alone. So she can witness that, yes, this is her son. That's all. But in the case of any capital punishment, women are not allowed to witness. What kind of religion this religion is?